That was fun, Billy. Yeah. Oh, look. Playing rugby league is fun for me, and um, when you able to play in a team like we've got it is an enjoyable time and um, you know we need to consolidate that and make sure that we prepare well next week and we've done that over the last couple of weeks and hopefully we can build on our performances and and improve on what we did tonight. Jared was coming at you pretty hard early on. Yeah it seemed like they all were uh, <laughs> early on but they're you know very passionate about playing in the semi-final for their country and you expect nothing less they they weren't going to come here and just hand it to us um, you know we knew that um, what we had in our team and the strengths that, that uh, we could produce but at the same time like I said that they, they weren't just going to come here and, and hand it to us they had an opportunity to play in a World Cup final and they were going to throw everything at it. Valentine just said that um, you were his hero growing up that must feel pretty good. Yeah. I feel pretty old too. Obviously, uh, someone like Val saying that. And uh, oh, look, he's a he's a great young man, and he's um, I've got a lot of respect for Val. He's a great football player, and he's doing some tremendous things at the moment. And um, there's a lot of talk about you know where he's going to play and all that sort of stuff. But I think he's building his game, and he's gonna he's gonna build the um, the skills to his game and, and to play in a little bit closer in his career. Um, but at the moment, he's doing a fantastic job for us on the wing, and he's finishing off some great movements. He's creating a lot of opportunities for himself. Um, he's not the biggest guy in our team, but he's using his strength, his, sp his speed, and his agility to get himself into good positions and um, give himself opportunity to break the line and score tries. When he eventually retire, when, when you eventually retire, is he the man to fill your shoes? Oh, it's not for me to, to say. Look, uh, look, Darius Boyd presented our jerseys to us this week and um, I, I think he's probably the next in line. Um, you know, he's done the job in the last couple of years and he's, he's a fantastic fullback, um, a pretty complete one at, at that. Um, the younger guys like Tommy and, and Val, they're, they're still working on um, becoming an all-round good fullback and they're going to do that. They're, they're tremendous players, they're very talented players. Um, I know when I first came in to play in the NRL, I, I wasn't a complete fullback, and you now it takes time. It takes time to build all those skills. Who was your, your idol? Who did you look to when, when you were coming into that role as, as Valentine Holmes is yeah. now? Uh, I was an Alfie Langer fan when I was growing up, but I, I think when I first went down to the Melbourne Storm, uh, I got an opportunity to play fullback, and the first time I played fullback was in my debut game. Um, against the Cronulla Sharks and, and Robbie Ross was injured at the time he was the Melbourne Storm fullback and, and he helped me out a lot uh, taught me the positional play and he was a very good support fullback um, so but then I, I did it all myself I, I looked at video uh, I looked at Darren Lockyer I looked at um, Matt Bowen um, Anthony Minicello had some great numbers he was a heavily involved fullback um, you know, a running fullback whereas Darren Lockyer was probably more a complete passing and, and runner. Um, so, you know, I just took all those skills on board and um, developed my own style and um, and built that over time. Is that where you see Val's got to improve his game? Like Darius, we know he's got a pass from the footy. Yeah. Second man plays with the last one. Is that the sort of thing you're talking about? Oh, look, yeah. Look, it's, it's a position where you've got to be... You've got to be skilled in a lot of areas. Um, you know, talking's one, and you know, with the young guys these days, they're, they're you know they're quite shy, and um, you know, you're playing with Cameron Smith and Cooper Cronk, and it's um, it's not easy to be dominant with your with your talk, and you've got to be dominant, and you've got to be um, instructional with where you want players at certain times. And, and that, that just comes over time, that they'll build that. Um, you know, obviously the other thing, they're great runners of the footy, the young guys coming through these days, and you know, I, I was a bit like that as well. I was a runner of the footy and I had to develop a passing game, I had to work on my defence, um, you know, I had to work out positional play and uh, focus on the opposition kickers. So there's, there's a lot involved, but you know, they're very capable of doing that, Valentine Holmes and, and Big Tommy, so um, you know, they're going to be great players for Australia in the future. Yeah, uh, the chirpiness certainly comes natural to me. I'm, I'm a very vocal person on the training paddock and 
at the game. Um, but knowing what to say and when to say it and where to put people, I've, I've had to work on that. Um, you know, I've had to understand opposition attacks and you know where I want my defence and where I want my numbers and, and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, I see it as, as my defensive line when I'm back there and, and you know, you've got to get it right or, or else you've got to make some tackles, I suppose. Speaking of tackles, is this the best defensive kangaroo side you've ever seen? I mean, the, the record's amazing. Yep. I know yep. last week, you were very good with 16. Yeah, it's been very impressive, this campaign. I, I, I'm not sure. Three tries we've, we've yeah. let in, maybe. Um, so there's a bit of improvement there, I suppose. But, um, oh, look, it's, it's been a very impressive display so far. We know our biggest test will come next week, and... and we can't be reflecting right now. We, we need to focus on how we can continue to defend well and even improve. Um, you know, we want to be a good defensive side. You know, if we're a good defensive side, we'll give ourselves an opportunity to win every game that we play in, and uh, we've got enough strike in our team to score points.